In this video, I'm going to show you how to make cinematic coloring in Film 10. Keep watching! Hi everyone, it's Chloe from Wondershare from Wara here to empower your inner video creator. Coloring helps to give an emotional punch to your videos. Different colors could affect the mood and feel of the videos in various ways. Let's check out some examples! Red stands out easily from other colors. It could represent love, anger, or danger. Yellow could indicate madness, naiveness, or insecurity in a scene. Blue is usually associated with sadness. Sometimes it represents calmness. Different from color correction, this time we're adding colors to neutral look video footage to signify subjects, mood, and upcoming incident in the story. Before we go into Fomora 10 and show you how to color videos, let's check out some elements that determine color. Color temperature controls the general look of a video. It is usually decided when filming, but we can also change it in editing. We can adjust the color temperatures to have a warmer or cooler look. Next, contrast is the difference between lighter and darker areas in a video. We can increase the contrast number to have a higher contrast look and vice versa. Then, let's talk about HSL, hue, saturation, and luminance. Hue is the actual color of an object. It refers to the pure color of an object without describing how vivid or dark it is. Warm hues usually give a friendly and joyful vibe. The cool hues lean more to a sad emotion. Saturation, to explain in a simple way, is how intense a color is. If we reduce the saturation of a video clip, the video will turn into black and white. Luminance, also called brightness and lightness, describes how dark or bright the color is. It is usually used to tweak the color and match the mood of the videos. A brighter color usually implies a friendly atmosphere, while a darker color usually appears in moody scenes. Okay, I know you can't wait anymore. Let's check out how to do coloring in Filmora 10. I'm going to use this clip as an example to show you how to add different moods to the same video clip using the color feature in Filmora 10. Drag and drop it onto the timeline. Right click and select color correction. Click on adjust on the top left. Now we can see all the settings on the side. Let's try to make this video look warmer and friendly first. I'm going to find the white balance section. Adjust the color temperature to a warmer level. I'm going to drag the bar to the right until I'm happy with it. Next, let's go to the color section. It looks like it's too dark. I'm going to increase the brightness number a little to have a lighter look. The video still looks flat. Let's add more contrast to the video. However, I don't want too much contrast, so I'm going to leave the bar here. Then, I want to make some more detailed adjustments. We can see these bottles and clock are red. To make the red color stand out more, I'm going to open the HSL section. Selecting the red color, increasing the saturation and luminance number so the red objects are more vivid and brighter. Repeat the same steps to bring the yellow color up. Hmm, I still feel like I want the video to be more colorful. Let's go to the color section again. Drag the saturation bar to the right to make the whole image a bit more colorful. And there we go! It looks like the subject is enjoying his meal on a sunny weekend day. Now, let's make the same video into a dark criminal scene. Right-click the video to select color correction. Go to the adjust section to find all the settings on the side. I'm going to add some bluish color to the video first. Go to the white balance section and drag the color temperature bar to the left to an ideal level. Then, let's go to the color section. I want to make the video a bit darker in general, so I'm going to reduce the brightness a little bit. Criminal series usually have high contrast, so let's increase the contrast. The red and yellow colors still look too vivid to me. Let's go ahead and open the HSL section. 
Select the red color and reduce the saturation and luminance number to make it less saturated and darker. Repeat the same steps for the yellow objects. And there we go! It looks more like a scene from a criminal series. It feels like something terrible is going to happen. If you want to check out the before and after look, you can click on the top right button here to select a comparison view. I'm going to choose the side-by-side -side view. Let's check out the difference of these results. When the coloring is done, you might ask how we apply it to the rest of the clips. Let me show you how. When finished with the coloring, find the Save at Preset button below the viewer. Make sure to name them clearly so you can find them later. Now, right-click on the clip that is not colored yet, select Color Correction. In the Preset section, select Custom in the drop-down menu. Select the new custom preset and click OK. If you don't know yet, we have default presets that you can find in the 3D LED section. Feel free to check them out. Alright, that's how to add different emotions and moods to your videos using coloring feature in Filmora 10. Do you color your videos? Which style do you prefer? Let us know in the comments below! Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos on the channel. Keep creating and see you next time! Bye. <laughs> That's a wrap. Bye. <laughs>